In this video, Matt Dexter, product specialist at PS Analytical, gives us an overview of PSA Online. A quick overview of PS Analytical's online software for um, instrument control. So first of all, look at the primary user interface or main page. And there are three different sections that are of particular interest on this page. So first of all, we have the basic analyzer controls, where you can start or stop the instrument operating. We then have a user definable area where we show, can show the results for each of the different channels. Uh, we can set up the names, we can also show calibrations here. Um, the last thing we have on this page is the grouped alarm display down the side where um, all of the different alarms for this, that are set up for the system can be shown in different groups and you can expand or contract the groups to see the detail of them as required. The results panels can be set up to show three different alarm levels. So they'll be green when the concentration's within the expected range, and they can go yellow for a low-level user-defined alarm, orange for a medium-level alarm, and red for a high-level alarm. Going back to look at the grouped alarm displays again, the um, name of each group will go red to show that an alarm within the group has been activated, and if you expand the group, the little colored dot next to each alarm will show the alarm, will show the alarm status for that. Um, so again, green is no alarm, and yellow, orange, or red for low, medium, or high. And if you double-click on any of the alarms, it will show you the help text, and you can acknowledge or reset the alarm from there. If you reset an alarm when the underlying alarm condition hasn't gone away, it will come back later. If we go behind the main page and look at the um, instrument sequence, this is where a um, bit more detail of how the analyzer is operating is configured. We have a few different areas on here. First of all, we repeat the basic analyzer controls that were also on the um, primary interface. We also have a graph showing the results trend. Um, this can show anything from 1 to 24 hours and is user configurable, both in how the points are represented on the graph and in the concentration range that's shown. To change the configuration, you go to the Data View tab. You can also double click on the graph to bring it up to full screen so it's easier to see. Um, over to the right of the page, we have the um, result min-max display, where the last result on each channel is shown with a little black plus sign, and the minimum maximum range over that same 1 to 24 hour period as the results trends is shown by a red bar. At the bottom of the screen, we have the, um, the instrument sequence itself. Um, this is highly user configurable to set up, or to set up how you want the analyzer to operate. What's shown here is what the analyzer does, although there is a certain amount of um, scheduling that happens elsewhere. The instrument status tab shows more behind the scenes information about what your analyzer is doing. So first of all, there's the analyzer mimic, which is a little graphical representation of the analyzer. So this is for a Sir Galahad, and it's showing the gold traps that are present. You can see sample gas come across them, or carrier gas, and traps heating and cooling, things like that. You also have the raw output of the detector. Okay, the raw detector output is also shown on this graph. You can change the viewing period here between 15 minutes and one hour. We can zoom in on the y-axis, and we can double-click on the graph to bring it up to full screen. The bottom of this page shows all of the um, calibrators and things that are connected to the system, so you can see the temperatures and flows. A lot of the time, you can also alter the temperatures and flows through this interface. Okay, the calibration tab shows the analyzer calibration. Um, it's typically one or two calibrations, but there could be up to six concurrent calibrations running, depending on the system configuration. To the right of the page, we have the calibration graph for the currently showing calibration, and that's a signal versus mass graph. Um, to the left of the page, there's the details for the points on the graph, and there's the um, figures of merit for that calibration curve. And to the bottom of that display, we can set up how often we want the analyzer to calibrate through the scheduling interface. Software also has a wide range of other features available within it for um, results reporting, both via external links and from pulling off DDE files or printouts. Um, there's also events displays where we can see the alarm history um, and currently active alarms, maintenance scheduling, and a wide range of other setup tools that are um, only really encountered to any great extent during the initial setup.